Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another installment of Meet the Musicians of the ISO. My name is Mark Thielen, music director of the orchestra, and this evening we have a wonderful young man. I'd say you're young, aren't you? His name is Kyle Lanier, and he's our second trumpet player in our trumpet section, and Kyle, you've been in the, what, three years now with the orchestra? Uh, yeah, just finished my third season, yep. Yeah, yeah it's, it's easy. he's a great guy to talk to, and he's a wonderful player, and I'm, we're so glad we have him in the orchestra. So I know, Kyle, that you are a teacher, and mm -hmm. so I'm, I just ask about everybody, how, how have you coped with you and your, and your school students with, the, with all the stuff going on with the core. Uh, it, it definitely was, uh, was a challenge at first, just to kind of wrap our heads around um, what the quote unquote new normal was going to look like for, uh, for the distance learning uh, environment. Um, but, but for the most part, uh, we were able to transition fairly well into that. Um, and the students seemed to uh, enjoy, you know, different parts of it. And uh, so we made it work and um you know got creative and 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 we're able to do some teaching in the midst of that good now i know you we were speaking before you had three kids mm -hmm. um and so how they've done with it uh they they've they've handled it fairly well uh you know we uh took took you know a couple of weeks to kind of uh get into uh some sense of routine and and structure with uh with distance learning but once we uh you know, once we once we kind of saw the expectations and were able to formulate when things were due and that sort of thing, we uh, we, we got into a, a decent groove with that, and um, and our kids seemed to seem to handle that transition fairly well. So, trumpet player, and so tell us how that all got started. What drew you to that instrument? Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's a little comical actually. Uh, it, <laughs> when I was in fifth grade, you know, being recruited into sixth grade band. Uh, the trumpet was the easiest to put together. All you did was put a mouthpiece in it. And <laughs> <laughs> and that's the reason. There's no, nothing wrong with that. Then where, yeah, where is this? Three be? buttons and a mouthpiece. And I was like, I think I can handle that. I, well, I you're I good, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, and, and so from there, um, I just had some really wonderful band directors in my life, um, you know, a couple of which were trumpet players and uh, just sort of, um, you know, took this, uh, you know, guy from the middle of the country in eastern north carolina and said you know let's uh, let's work with him a little bit and help him out and, uh -huh. um and so uh you know continued on and, and found that music was really what i wanted to do and um and just began to pursue that uh through high school and then into college so you're a carolina boy oh yes uh, i'm from eastern north carolina from a very very small town that most people have never heard of <laughs> what's the town called uh it's called uh it's called beulahville um, and it's, um, <laughs> uh, yep, it's, it's, uh, a, a really, really wonderful community. Uh, it's a farming community primarily. Um, and it's located about an hour, uh, sort of Northwest of Wilmington, North Carolina. Okay. More people know. Okay. It's interesting because when, when my kids were growing up and in just one year, cause we, you know, how busy you get with, with your yeah. teaching and everything else, you barely see your kids, you know? Sure. So my wife and I said, you know, we had our three girls by that time. I said, you know, we're both teachers. We have some time off. We're going to go to the mountains. And so we, for probably, I guess, 12 or 14 years, every summer, we go as a family up to the Franklin area. We, we were in Maggie Valley a couple of years, but then we moved over to Franklin and just rented a cabin and or a house and had a great time in the mountains. And this we, my wife and I would have already done this by the time this interview was aired, but we're going to Little Switzerland, <laughs> North Carolina, which is which is by Marion, North Carolina, which is about an hour from Asheville. There, there's a there's yep. a town we all know. So we we certainly enjoy our time in the mountains. And so you went to college at you said where uh, I went went to uh, East Carolina University, okay, in uh, Greenville. All right, and you were a major in. Uh, music education. Okay, good. And how long have you been teaching? I uh, just finished up year 18 this year. Okay, fantastic. And did you start teaching in North Carolina or Florida? Uh, I, I started teaching in North Carolina, taught 14 years uh, as a band director, uh, primarily middle school and did a uh, about a seven-year stint there where I taught middle and high school at the same time. Um, 
and uh, then eventually moved myself back into uh, middle school role. And, um, and we moved down here a little over four years ago, um, you know, just uh, really looking for uh, just a, a different, you know, just a different change, I guess. Um, and uh, so moved here to Lakeland, uh, knew some people in the area, you know, and just kind of visited here and there. And, um, and so then I made the big promotion to teaching elementary music, uh, which, right. uh, you know, it's, uh, it's exciting. I, I was terrified, if I'm being honest, uh, because I'd never taught elementary, um, you know, and it's a different world, but I love it. I mean, it really is, uh, you know, I love the kids. I love the, the school that I'm at and the faculty and staff. Um, administration's great. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's a good community of, uh, of students and teachers and parents. Um, and uh, I really enjoy it. I and mean, I'm finding a lot of joy in teaching the little ones now. It's uh, it's now my wife Tracy. She's she's elementary, and she she'd have it no other way. I sure. Mean, so what does so what I know you you've been with us three years, the mm -hmm. ISO. That's correct. So you, I guess you saw this opportunity to audition well, with us. Well, or, yeah. So yeah. um, so it's interesting. I uh, you know my wife and I went to uh, a holiday concert. You know, went to the Christmas right. concert. Um, with some friends and um, that was my first experience when I moved down here I just I just wanted to go hear the you know local ensembles and, and that sort of thing and, um, so I listened and I was wow what a what a tremendous you know um, orchestra here here in our own hometown uh, you know and so uh, from there took our kids to a cookie concert um, a few yeah. months later and uh, they enjoyed that um, and so then I just kind of started researching you know looking on the website and saw that there were some openings for uh a sub position and that's really what I had auditioned for and then uh, after I submitted my audition my materials I uh, you know received the, the good news that the second uh, spot had opened up and um, so I was onboarded into the orchestra from there. Oh, fantastic we're so glad you're there we, we appreciate everything you do for the orchestra and I think people if you're listening the, the role you, you say second trumpet how important that is to the overall sound of, of the brass section because Lots, lots of times, and when you're a lot, there's sometimes there's just two trumpets in, in pieces, and we're talking like composers like Tchaikovsky. He oh, used yeah. two trumpets a lot, so it's not just earlier works. It's it's a lot. The Vorjaks only use two trumpets, Beethoven, of course, and usually you guys are in octaves, so the second trumpet really supports supports the first trumpet. And I don't know how many times you, you can ask Mark Huntington. He he, he's been with us a lot longer than I, I always say either more second and third trumpet. I even say it with our orchestra too, that <laughs> man, it's so important. Those inner parts and those lower parts and this, it just beefs up the whole sound of everything. And so, sure. so it's, it's a, something you, you got to have. And this would have already happened by the time this interview take or airs and that you guys are doing a brass concert on, you did it. You already did it, but brass concert on flag day, brass quintet. So, some great music and so it's kind of our first time out of the box after all this mess with the virus and so we're looking forward to that oh yes yeah. so looking, yeah. looking forward to being with my fellow musicians again and having an opportunity to perform it's going to be great yeah that's what we that's what we like to do right we like to perform and play music and play music for other people well Absolutely. thank you so much for all your time this evening and i'll see you this saturday for rehearsal for the <laughs> okay. concert that happened in the past of this interview. So <laughs> have a great evening, sir. Great. Thanks so much, Mark. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.